This is Lyle Menke for Petty TV. I'm very honored to have Dr. Carl U. Pettinghouse with us today. Dr. Pettinghouse is the third generation owner of Pettinghouse Corporation. So Dr. Pettinghouse, welcome to Petty TV. Thank you. And now Pettinghouse Corporation, you were the third generation owner and Anton and Sella are the fourth generation owners. Why is this important to you to have a family business? Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you can decide yourself what is the best for everybody in that company. I think that's the main cause for doing it on our own. So, in the next decades, you know, Pettinghouse developed many new machines, you know, from uh, rebar equipment to flame hardening equipment. And one of the machines that has the most popularity is the Pettinghouse Universal Iron Worker, yes. especially the series called the 210 series. Yeah. Now, why was this machine so popular? The idea of these Pettinghouse machines has been that you combined the vertical movement of the power slide mm -hmm. with a collar knife and you used it like a wedge so that you could change from this vertical movement to um, movement under an angle. And with this using of wedges, you could, uh, you had a reduction in the length of the cut, mm -hmm. but you had a higher power of almost 16%. Really? Yeah. So that shows you the, the technological advancements that the Pettinghouse engineers yeah. used at that time. Yeah and they still employ many of those same things. Yeah, that was a patent for 18 years and in that time the competitors could not use this idea mm -hmm. and therefore we have sold in that time quite a lot of machines. Now in going forward in history, now some of the next series of machines, some of the when you were involved in, when you became directly involved, was the uh, new drill lines, the model TDU drill line, the TDK drill line. Mm -hmm. um, why is that machine so popular? Or I guess perhaps why did you want to develop those CNC machines at that time? Yeah. First of all, in former times, this 210 were machines where you had many tools in in one machine but not in the same spot. That means you could not mm -hmm. organize it online so that you had always to move the part to the different places. That means you had to move it from the punch station mm -hmm. to the cutting station or to the notch station. But now with this online machines you had the tools one behind the other and so you could, could move the material directly through everything and you only needed controls to start the process without a helping hand by a man. Mm -hmm. So really it was a labor-saving device yeah. that increased the productivity yeah. and made the fabricator or made the customer much more efficient. Yeah. So when he's more efficient, then he become more competitive yeah. in the market. So that was good for steel buildings, yeah. regardless if it was in Europe or Asia or Latin America or in North America. Yeah. So I know from your background, you always visited customers. Yes. And Scylla and Anta always visit many, many customers as well. Do you think that's important to do that? Yeah. Why? Yeah, you, sh you must have a feedback of your machines and what the people are doing with it, how they work with it. And they have other proposals what you can make better in-house 
to have a better machine in the future. Yeah, so you encourage them to always go yeah. out and yeah. see many customers. Yeah. I know from my tenure as Petting House too, I've always been going out and visiting the industry and customers also to get new ideas and feedback yeah. to share that. What do you think are the real keys to success for a, your company or for a good company? What must they do to be successful? First, you must have good people and you must have not only good people but people with ideas so that you wake up interest under the customers. Yes. What do you consider one of your favorite business accomplishments? That was the decision to invest in the United States. We did this decision in 1974 and I'm glad that we were successful until today and I hope in the future too. So Dr. Penninghaus, in conclusion I must tell you that your business has affected many many people here in America but in other parts of the world and we would all like to say thank you. If, like for me, you have it affected my life and I've been with the company 30 years and we're very grateful that you made the decision to come to America for here but for also for other companies that you've established in Spain, Netherlands and other places as well. So we want to say thank you very much. So this is Lyle Menke for Petty TV with Dr. Carl Ulrich Pettinghaus saying thank you very much. Thank you.